All right, guys, welcome back to Sky. So, a couple of my videos were a little weird sounding. Um, I explained a little bit in the last Backrooms Anomaly video I tried to film. Basically, I was trying to, I was trying to make some kind of compromise because with this game being all about sounds, I wanted to be a little bit immersed in this and kind of like really get a feel for it while I'm playing to like kind of appreciate it more. So I used some Bluetooth earbuds and I was just listening through that while doing the voice recording. And for some reason, I still don't know why it does this, but if I just record freely, like without like an inputted microphone and no, like no kind of headset or earbuds at all, my voice is totally fine. If I, if the only thing I do is use Bluetooth earbuds, for some reason, it makes my voice sound like I'm sitting on speakerphone with somebody like talking on a call. So it was kind of weird and cutting out and like, I guess almost kind of gritty if you want to call it that, which I wasn't the biggest fan of. So I'm going to be sacrificing being able to hear certain sounds to, in my eyes, make a better video. And if I'm being completely honest too, I actually almost wasn't going to keep uploading videos of this. Like I was going to keep playing it, but I almost opted just to stop doing videos because it just, at first, didn't seem like there was a lot of interest in the videos of this game. And then after the last video, I think that one, like that one's already gotten a lot more views than I anticipated and likes. I think honestly, I just looked a little bit ago, the last video I uploaded of this has more likes than any other video that I've done. So thank you guys for that. Like I actually really appreciate that. I think the most likes a video has gotten on my channel so far, as far as like the gaming content has been like seven likes. And this one's gotten nine already and like around 200 views. So I'm actually, I was surprised by that. So if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't keep playing this, but because so many people seem to be interested in the couple of comments that I got on here where people seem to be interacting and stuff, it, it kind of sealed that deal for me. Like, okay, let's just keep this going now. So let's jump back in. Oh, I thought that was to go. Okay, I messed up. Oh, that's right. We were in the Golden Wasteland last time. What is. Oh, these are candles. Alright, so let's do this. did do this one already. I was waiting for like some kind of big cutscene there for a second. I like the sound of that. I hope there's nothing harmful in here. All right, so let's do this. How does this work? Is this basically just platforming at this point to do this? Oh, 
we turning all these on? Okay. So I can still hear some of the sounds. So is this the vault? Whoa. No, 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 no. That started to scare me for a minute there. I was like, please don't tell me I'm gonna fall all the way down. What is that? I don't even think I contributed to that at all. I wasn't sure what I was doing. What just happened? Was that a glitch or was it supposed to do that? Oh! I didn't even see that! I think so far as like visuals and stuff, this might be my favorite realm or area so far. Like, don't get me wrong, I've loved all the ones I've seen so far, but it's just something about this one. Like, it kind of reminds me, and I get this is going to be completely different compared to this game, but it kind of reminds me of the section of, the, like, the library from the original Halo game. Like, areas like that. is that okay so there's what a couple of those now am I supposed to jump on one of these oh 
Oh, I guess. This is cool. This is like a big, like, stingray. Yeah, that was a really cool little section there. What's this? Oh, yeah, the winged light. I keep forgetting I lost some of that from when I was... Yeah. We don't want to talk about that. Because I figured that out a little bit too late. Looks like some kind of like soothsayer, fortune teller. Was that us putting a star in the sky? Whoa, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that they're showing like the constellation is just a small part of a bigger story. Whoa! Wait! So is that the seventh one? And there's still wherever that seasonal thing is, it's over there too. Let's go see what the seasonal thing is real quick before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's just go check this out. I like the question marks, like, yeah, we don't know what this is. Like a castle of some sort. What's oh, we already found a spirit. Is this the spirit of a child? Oh, 
Oh, okay, apparently I'm following you. Cool, let's do it. What? Oh, what are we, oh, what? Oh, this is cool. A little bit of a different interaction than we've had with some of the other spirits. I was gonna say, like, are you coming with me? This is a really cool looking place. Why is she shaking her head no? What? A hidden refuge lost to time. What? Four three days left. Okay. Well. Yeah. So we just get to do. Actually, let's see what this does real quick. Like what what we can do. Oh, we just bring her with us. Oh, okay, okay. There's another spirit down here. Was that her family, like her one of her parents? And we just reunited them? burn these so let's just go ahead and do it I'm assuming that's what they want us to do oh that's what we were supposed to do Do we take a seat? Oh. Uh. Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> well, let's kind of explore for a minute. Wait, what? Whoa, there's something over here? What are we doing exactly? Oh, there's another spirit. Let's see, let's see what's up with the spirit over here. talk to them sure let's go over here
This is really cool. Okay, I guess we're just following you guys. A message boat? Hmm. Well, you know what? Oh, I didn't do that. You know what? Let's just put... So if anybody explores this area and comes across this boat, I type this. Just for you guys. Because I think we all need to honestly like remember things like this every now and then. So we get so caught up in daily life, it gets stressful. Like this game's honestly helping me a lot too to kind of just take a step back and relax. Yeah, and hopefully that, I mean, you know, some people might think that message might be a little weird or something, but I mean, like I, I can definitely see like the point of this all is to just, Literally, like, how you're going around spreading light and giving light and all that. Like, that's the point of this that I'm seeing. Or at least what I'm seeing. Like, if there is more to it, I just haven't noticed it yet. But, I mean, this, this is definitely kind of a game that I've needed for a little bit. Those fireworks? Oh, that's cool! Oh, yeah, we're not going to do the season pass. Oh, that's right. I forgot we're in... This is one of the seasonal realms. Yeah, I think it's one of those things, like... Everybody kind of overlooks the little things in life. You know, I know, I know that's like a saying that's gone around a lot. You know, through little movies, like... I know one of the biggest, like, one of the first, like, movies that I've noticed where, like, I've really seen that occur is actually the movie Zombieland. Because I'm big into, like, apocalyptic type stuff and zombies and all that, too. But it was funny because it's, like, you know, like, he's got, like, that list of his rules and stuff like that. And he literally ends up putting down, like, I can't remember the exact way it was worded, but it's, like, enjoy the, like, something about enjoying the little things, you know, and the whole point of... Tallahassee, if you haven't watched the movie, which I'm, I'm assuming with how long that movie's been around, like, most of you have probably seen it. I'd be shocked if you didn't. But the character Tallahassee is, like, big on Twinkies. Like, he's, because it's the end of the world, he's trying to find the last Twinkie and stuff at some point. So it's like, you know, his whole thing is like, you know, you just got to enjoy the little things. And I think that's a big thing, too. Like, people don't... Like I just said a minute ago, like, people don't really stop and think about things like that. You know, you, you kind of take it for granted what you have, and then you don't really stop to think about it unless you've already, like, you already appreciate it like you should, or until it's unfortunately gone. And they do, they do kind of show the example of that in the movie, too, where he's talking about enjoy the little things. Like, he's referencing, like, you know, he had a family back home and stuff like that, and he didn't want to be too revealing, so he kind of told the other person, like, hey, like, you know, I had a dog. But then he finally put two and two together and realized he had a son that he lost because of everything. And so now he's just kind of just trying to enjoy what he can out of life. Um, where else do we need to go? But I think one of the big things, too, is like for me personally, like that's why I always try to incorporate things that I enjoy. Like literally enjoying the little things like all the things that i've always had fascinations about or interested in or love for like i try to keep those part of my life to kind of in a way make me feel like a kid at heart all the time because you know like obviously like i'm an adult like i have a wife and kid i've got a job i got a house like i got stuff to worry about but i think people get lost within that 
and they just let themselves get stressed out every day and don't take the time to literally enjoy the little things when you really should be especially when there's like some like like this is definitely like a kind of game like there needs to be more games like this with you know yeah like there's like that one darker realm too but i mean you know just a game like this where it's just something simple you're spreading positivity and light like we need more things like that in general because i can't tell you like and i get it like i you know like i hate seeing all the things about like wars and all the terrible things going on in the world but it's at the same time it's like that's all you ever see anymore is like the shittiest side of the world and I've just grown so tired of that. You know, it's one of those things like I'm definitely like my daughter's like a year and a half old right now. It's like I'm scared for her to see this world, honestly. Like it's already bad enough now. Like I can't imagine how it's gonna be in ten years when she's almost a teenager. Yeah, but just for anybody out there, if you guys are, like, you know, having a tough time, whether it's with work or, you know, personal stuff, like, regardless of what you're going through, just make sure you take care of yourself. And make sure you do enjoy the little things, because we, we all need that. You know, like, I still get the skateboard every so often. I'm still having fun playing games, you know. Don't let people tell you you're too old for certain things. I mean, unless it's something, like, really out there that you probably shouldn't be doing. But, you know, like, if it's something that you've always enjoyed, especially as a kid, and you still get to have fun and enjoy it as an adult, let, like, let your inner kid come out every so often. Like, everybody needs that moment or those moments in their life. Whoa. What? What? What's going on here? So we explored a little bit of this realm. I think we're going to try to go back to the main thing that we were doing. Unless there's something else that I haven't seen yet. Which actually, let's go back to your friend for a second. Actually, you know what? If there's going to be, like, more... Because it looks like there's more things you can do with the spirit, too. So if there's going to be some more stuff with that, like, I think we're just going to enjoy this for a minute. Especially if this is, like, a seasonal thing that's only good for so long. Then, yeah, let's have some fun. Because we can... I mean, if you guys really are, like, into me playing this, then I'll just... I'll keep playing. Until it gets to a point where, like, I literally... Because... A lot of it's going to determine, too, like, how far in the game I've gotten. And a lot of it is also based on storage space on my phone. Because I have so many things already in my phone that it's... Sometimes it can get kind of close when I'm recording videos. So, like, unfortunately, this... As much as I do like this game, I'm not going to be able to keep it on my phone forever. There's just... There's no way. But at least for now, like, I do enjoy playing this and I'm having fun. And it seems like you guys are enjoying me uploading these videos for this game, too. So I'm going to continue doing it. Oh, there's another one. I thought it was just two. Oh. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I just... I didn't realize them at first, so I wouldn't have seen that. Ooh, what did we just do? Oh wait, this area is lighter now. It's not like it's, I mean, not that it was like really gloomy, but it just, it was just a little eerie because you could tell 
Because I think, I can't remember what the thing said in the beginning, but it was something about, like, for, forgotten refuge or something. Or lost refuge. So it's cool to see it, like, in light now. Aviary Village. Oh, that's cool. A hidden refuge. So it's not even like a lost... I like how it seems like it just continues. Like there's just more and more and more. So I wonder, in this, in this realm, are we trying to go to that? Well, looks like that's the path. So that's, I guess, where we're going to go. See, wait a minute, I thought I already came over here. Wasn't that the whole... Oh, I didn't notice that, though. What is really doing? Stars were once united, and our light was infinite. The first of us descended to build a kingdom in the clouds. But we took our light for granted. Time has passed, now you bring us hope. Go forth, child, return your light to our fallen stars. Is there gonna be like more stuff like out this way, I wonder? Or is it just within what we're seeing here? Huh, okay, well let's stay out of that for a minute. Cause I wanna continue in here. Cause if this is just a seasonal realm, I don't wanna. So every aviary village has been awakened, brave the storm to guide spirits back to this refuge. Okay, let's do it. That definitely looks a little bit darker, but let's go into it. Wait, do you not come with me? Let's do it. I have eaten. Oh, wait. We don't even have enough to do that. Okay, never mind. Well... guys well i think that's what we're gonna call it for this video this was actually really cool i'm kind of glad i chose to do this one instead of just continuing on the main path i was gonna do because this was at least like the whole aviary village was actually really cool you know and hopefully somebody if any of you guys play this that are seeing this video like hopefully you guys find that little message and hopefully it does something for you guys too because i mean like i said everybody needs to see that and you know just stop and enjoy the little things just Please try to remember that. But I think with that being said, we're going to go ahead and call it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out. And I think in the next video, we're going to try to figure out how to get back to the main storyline or journey. So that way we can try to collect some more wings so we can come back to this since I can't really do much with that yet. With that being said, thank you guys so much. And we will check back in with the next video of Sky.